Revelation chapter 4. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one set on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white remnant, and they had their they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunder, thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion and the second beast like a calf. And the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are they are and were created. In this chapter, the prophetical scene opens and the epistolary part opened with a vision of Christ. So this part is introduced with a glorious appearance of the great God, whose throne is in heaven, compassed about with the heavenly host. This discovery was made to John, and in, a, and in this chapter, he records the heavenly sight he saw, and then the heavenly songs he heard. We have here an account of a second vision with which the apostle John was favored. After this, that is, not only after I had seen the vision of Christ walking in the midst of the golden candlesticks, but after I had taken the, his messages from his mouth, and written and sent them to several churches according to his command. After this, I had another vision. Those who well improve the discoveries they have had of God already are prepared thereby for more and may expect them.